And what is up guys, welcome back to another market update and welcome back to the Ace Crypto YouTube channel. So we're going to jump straight in again today with the market cap under 1 trillion. So we were under 1 trillion yesterday and we're still under the 1 trillion mark today. Uh, if we look down at Bitcoin, we are looking a bit uh, tragic this morning. As you can see there, $19,818 for Bitcoin. Roughly matching the supply circle in supply there, as you can see. Interesting. Uh, so you've got big, uh, Ethereum there, 1,500. So we are getting close to buy-in ranges. Not quite there yet, but I'm another couple of weeks, and I would imagine that we would be in a good uh, good range for buy-in. I will let you know when I'm buying, so that you can obviously do the same. Dollar cost averaging, obviously, when you are ready, but uh, I'm definitely going to tell you when I'm going to start uh, increasing my buying position. So looking down, we've got XRP, 32 cents. Hopefully one day we can see this over a dollar. It would be very nice. Ada under 50 cents there, Solana $31, I mean Solana, if you are a Solana fan, $31 is definite buy for Solana. Uh, Dogecoin there, we've got some interesting predictions for Dogecoin for the end of the month. I very much doubt it will hit these predictions, but you never know. Uh, 86 cents was the prediction. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to be able to see that personally. We'll just have to wait and see. So Polkadot, uh, what else have we got going on? Nothing very, very interesting. AVAX did drop a little bit, but we're back up 1%. We'll get into what actually happened with Avalanche very soon. So if we jump on over to the Crypto Bubbles, this is today's Crypto Bubbles. Uh, Luna C, obviously doing the most work at the moment. Will this ever hit a penny, guys? Will this ever hit a penny? You let me know down in the comments below what you think. Will this ever hit a penny, let alone a dollar? Uh, moving on, what have we got? The biggest, we've got HNT there. Helium, so obviously did you? if you didn't know, you can mine helium, so I'd look into that if you are interested. Um, yeah, so we do have some, uh, we've got Litecoin there, Nexo looking green, very good. Uh, Nexo I think did have some uh, funding recently, so that's good for them. Uh, Nia is up 2%, I like Nia, I think it's a good, uh, good coin. Hex down 3%, interesting. Uh, I don't know if you guys know much about Hex, or if you hold a bag of Hex. If you do, let me draw, let me know down in the comments below why you are holding Hex. Do you like uh, Richard Hart? Are you interested in, in the T-shares type of situation? Let me know what your opinion is on Hex. So, let's move on over to the Bitcoin chart. We're going to try and get through today a bit quicker because I am 20 minutes most of the time. Uh, I know you guys are not really interested in 20-minute videos, so I'm going to jump straight in quickly, and you can see there we hemorrhage down to the floor. This is the 15-minute chart, as you can see there, 15 minutes. So, literally... Literally, these are 15 minute increments all the way down. So we lost a substantial amount of money from Bitcoin last night, but hopefully we'll, we'll have made this, uh, this a support here. So we probably will be bouncing between these ranges. If you look here, money uh, money flow is definitely very, very, very low. I'm not too sure why it is so low at the moment, but as you can see there, it is extremely low. So looking for Bitcoin, I do expect, I see some green candles here, hitting this resistance and probably uh, hit this support again and probably bounce between, uh, what have we got there, 19... 19.7 to 19.9 so roughly around those ranges i do predict for the next 24 hours i don't see a massive drop but you never know in this game guys you never know so we're going to jump straight in with the news are we yes we are so this is an interesting article i just stumbled upon this is uh, what the fbi recommends to DeFi investors so decentralized finance if you guys are interested in DeFi, i suggest you listen up so these are basically the few of the, uh, what's the, what's it calling it, uh, recommendations investors implement to follow measures to protect their assets. Perform thorough research into DeFi platforms, protocols and smart contracts. Well, that's a no brainer. Make sure you're looking into these DeFi platforms and not just jumping on board because the APY is very, very good. Uh, ensure the DeFi investment platform has carried out one or more code or, or audits. So audits is uh, basically an independent auditor would come in and look at the code and basically say if it's, uh, you know, if he's happy with it or not, essentially. Um, stay in the DeFi investor pools with highly limited timeframes. Yeah, so like some investor pools, they do have limited time frames to join and swap. So you do have to be very quick. So what he's saying there is uh, you just got to be very quick and know how long your uh, your stake in is for or your DeFi investment pools are for. Uh, remain aware of potentially risk related to crowdsourcing solutions. Crowdsourcing, you know, crowdsourcing obviously is uh, getting information and codes and stuff from the crowd, you know, which can be very... Uh, well, vulnerable, let's be honest, vulnerable, because it's coming from strangers, essentially, so people can put anything they want in the codes, and it needs to be audited by a third-party independent auditor, so that we're all uh, we're all happy. 
we're all happy. Uh, so basically what he's saying for the DeFi platforms, implement real-time analytics, monitoring, uh, rigorous testing of the code, pretty obvious there. Uh, develop and implement instant response plans to involve uh, was that? involve alerting investors of smart contracts ex exploitations. So basically telling the investors if anything is actually going on. So moving on real quickly, Dex accidentally hits the switch on the mainnet uh, and it basically killed the entire mainnet. Very interesting. Locking up 660,000 USDC. Yes, so this actually happened. So as you can see there, we accidentally closed the Optify uh, mainnet program and is not recoverable. Ouch. 660,000 US, uh, USDC uh, is locked out. Uh, luckily, 95% of the fund is our team members and not actual clients. And we will compensate for all funds, which... <laughs> So apparently there was a bit of problem with coding, uh, someone implemented the wrong code and basically just imploded the main net from the inside out. Ouch. Moving on. Russia's PM to take you from Iraq's crypto payment permit for imports. So basically this means that they're going to try and avoid all their sanctions and bit stuff with using cryptocurrencies. So if you didn't know, this is the Russian Prime Minister, Mikhail Mishustin. Uh, I just butchered that, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, and obviously Vladimir Putin is the president, not the prime minister. So they do have the both. So basically the prime minister there is declaring that they're going to start using crypto payments for basically uh, goods and services and these types of uh, imports and exports, should I say. Probably a better way of putting it, imports and exports. So uh, we need to intensely develop innovative areas, including all the adoption of digital assets. This is a safe alternative for all parties that can guarantee uninterrupted payments uninterrupted as you can see there because of the uh, the sanctions and stuff implemented on russia at the moment so well it is what it is this is the thing about cryptocurrencies that they are very decentralized so you can send things you know send money and stuff to places where you're not really supposed to so what can you say about this one guys moving on we have an interesting one for the ava uh, ava labs so i don't know if you've heard of avax or avalanche basically over the past couple of hours they have been accused of some serious wrongdoing so if I jump on over to this one, this article is probably a bit better. Uh, is that the one we want? Is that the one we want? Or is this the one we want? So basically, uh, the Ava Labs uh, was... What have they been doing? What have they been doing? Been doing some very naughty things, basically. They've been uh, tarnishing other, uh, basically, other blockchains' names, essentially. Uh, there was an article somewhere. I don't know where it's gone now. It'll probably turn up later on when I don't need it. But anyway, so AVAX falls 20% after publication of an uh, evil conspiracy investigation. So, yeah, they're calling it an evil conspiracy, basically, because AVA or AVA Labs um, initiated attacks on competitors such as Solana and Binance in order to smear and stifle their development. So this is one of the big ones at the moment. Apparently, they also got one of the lawyers very, very drunk, so they didn't really know what he was doing. Uh, yeah, it was a big, it's a big mess, to be honest with you. AVA are denying all knowledge of this. Um, but, you know, there's only so much you can deny when uh, you give these people, essentially, 1% of your token... Uh, your token supply so the uh, AVAX apparently give 1% of their token supply to a lot of these evil conspirator, um, conspirators if you will they were paid to do so let's move in oh, crypto.com mistakenly wired its Australian user 1.5 uh, 10.5 million USD oof can you imagine that can you imagine that guys if uh, you got given 10.5 million in a wire transfer into a bank account owned by a resident wow uh, here, uh, the apparent error side of Mage Crypto has turned an attempt to process a 100 US dollar refund into a hefty twaw. Can you imagine that? I don't know whether they've asked for it back, I would assume so. I would assume they've asked for it back, but I don't really know. So far, as reported success in these legal battles. Okay. Uh, mm, 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 February funds were taken from the two accounts. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't actually say if the, he had to give it back. Imagine if he didn't have to give that, that give that back. That would be unreal. So moving on, moving on, moving on. Here we go. Intoxicated avalanche lawyer allegedly piled with alcohol. So apparently uh, it was an avalanche lawyer was allegedly piled with uh, alcohol. There we go. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Apparently they just got him really, really drunk. So he didn't know what was going on. Uh, 
Reddit co-founders venture capital fund to invest 177 million into the crypto sector as everything is on sale. I like this guy. I like this. Everything on sale. This is the best way to think about bear markets, guys. Don't think that it's going to go to zero. Don't think it's stupidly risky. Everything's on sale. It's like your favorite whatever's on sale. Your favorite shoes, your favorite dinners, or whatever is on sale. That's the way I think about it. And that's the way you should think about it too. You know, if your portfolio is 80% down right now, so is everybody else's. And a lot of us are not worried. I'm not worried even the slightest bit, guys. So everything is on sale. So we are about 80% down at the moment. We would like to see a little bit more of a drop before we can really say we're in a proper bear market and there is blood in the streets. Uh, but Bitcoin, as, you can, as you've seen earlier on, is bleeding slightly. It is bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. So we'll see what happens on that one next. So I do think this is very, very bullish because uh, obviously Reddit is a very, very big name and 177 million in the crypto sector is a very, very big number. So moving on, Bitcoin erases uh, latest gains. Yep, so we're back below the 20K basically is what this is saying as the dollar finds momentum. So the dollar is quite strong at the moment, but Bitcoin is not, as you can see there, $19,884 right now. So moving on, we have some uh, 100 million in funding for Animal. Animoca Brands. I always get that bloody name confused. Animoca. Animoca Brands. As we know, Animoca Brands own a lot of the big uh, big NFT things. They own uh, OpenSea. They own Sandbox. There's a few other ones that they do own. Uh, moving on, so we've got the MT Gox Creditors. Debunk rumor of imminent massive DBTC drop. So basically, they're saying uh, that we are not dropping all 137,000 Bitcoins. Uh, we're going to wait. So where does it say? It says basically... The MT Gox is not distributing any coins this week, or next week, or the week after that. The repayment system is not live yet. As it currently stands, you can't even register where you want your BTC to be sent. So, yep, yeah, I wouldn't worry about this for now, and they have said that it's not happening anytime soon, which does indicate some bullish news for me, because I was worried about this dump on the market. But like they say below, a lot of the accreditors, uh, accreditors basically are not even going to dump when they do get their hands on their Bitcoins. So, mm, I think that's good news. I think that's good news. And the last thing we have today is Indonesia tech giant buys the local crypto firm this is good it's good news so uh, you know go go to is the name of the company and they buy in a cryptocurrency exchange a local cryptocurrency exchange so i like to see this i like to see this more money coming into this space guys more money coming into the space so thank you very much for joining me today i hope you're liking and following all those other good things i'd much appreciate a sub you guys are amazing thank you for listening so if there's anything you want to chat about make sure you dm me on that one your best bet to dm me is jumping on over to uh tiktok because i will be live over there every single day so you can jump in and ask me personal questions maybe not that personal but <laughs> once about the cryptocurrency world and make sure you are following on the uh, on the TikTok, uh, the Twitter I mean so as you can see there I have been researching Avalanche and what has actually happened with the Avalanche yesterday so if you are interested I appreciate a follow so thank you very much guys and we'll see you in the next one